Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys. I am back in the building. Y'all, I was feeling discombobulated this morning. Y'all know I had that drink with y'all last night, and I told you guys I do not drink on Tuesdays during the week. Now, if it's a Friday or a Saturday, I will have a drink. You know, and not every Friday or Saturday, but sometimes. So, guys, this morning I was feeling discombobulated, and um, I woke up during the night, so I kind of had broken sleep. So, I was like, it is what it is. Stanya, get your butt up so you can go ahead and give your people these lives. So, here I am, guys. Well, Nell Fletcher, she went ahead and posted last night. She posted last night. Uh, and let us know that Destiny was in the building for the girls' trip. Has everybody this morning before I even jump real hard into this? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Please hit that like button. Thank you. Uh, day one in the day one in the building representing. Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of you guys. Um, hope y'all had a better sleep than me because I had broken sleep and I hate having broken sleep. But um, maybe I'll be okay uh, tonight because I go back to work tomorrow and I'm just glad I was off today. So even though I had the broken sleep, I can go right back to sleep. So that is what I ended up doing, guys. But I wanted to come to y'all earlier than this. But because of the night kind of, you know, was kind of rocky for me sleeping and stuff. And I hate when I don't get a good sleep. Here I am at 10 something. And y'all, I'm even, I'm doing breakfast late because after I get off this live with y'all, I'm literally finna go and sit down and have breakfast. Yes. At this uh, spot that I like, it's called Around the Clock. And if you guys have Around the Clock by you guys or a kind of near I would suggest y'all try it because it's good. They have really good breakfast. So I am going to get off this live with y'all when I'm done. And I'm going straight up there and I'm going to have me some breakfast. And I'm going to just sit down and just um, relax. And this is a spare of a moment thing because I didn't have this plan. But I do what I want to do. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Happy hump day. Yes, yes, yes. Good morning to everyone that is coming in the building. Good morning, Stanya Mods, Chats. Praying y'all have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. So let's jump into this thing. I want to kind of um, back paddle a little bit and, uh, you know, kind of dissect some things. Y'all know I like to di dissect stuff, right? Well, we know not too long ago, Ariane Curry posted her and Destiny for Martel Holt's birthday. Do you guys remember this? I did a video on this. And Destiny was being real messy. And she posted this on her Instagram. Do you guys remember this? Well, we had some battle about the messiness. They say, well, why was she being messy when Mayo Melody posted um, LaBeric and Law? You know, that's Destiny's son and her ex-husband. So we had some people to argue about the situation because some people felt like it was one and the same. Yes. But here's the thing, guys. I'm going to let you know how who knew see it. I don't think it was one and the same because when Mel posted, she didn't post another woman. She didn't. Not only did she not post another woman with LeBaric, she didn't post a sad chick floozy with LeBaric. She did not. She posted the son and LeBaric. Now, if Destiny would have just posted Martell and the children, then whatever. Then it would have been the same thing. But because Ariane was through in the mix, that changed the dynamic of the situation. Now, I don't know if you guys see it the same way I see it, but I'm just letting you know how who knew see it. Yep. Because we had some debates about if it was the same thing or not. Drop down in the chat and let me know y'all opinion on that. Why I continue, let me know y'all opinion. 
LaBerry posted that, not Melody. Melody did post it before. She did because I seen it and I also did a video on it. LaBerry posted it as well. You are correct about that, but she did post it. So um, you're right, who knew? Yes. So um, it is what it is. I just told y'all my theory on it. Everyone else, you know, drop down and tell your theory on it. And if you didn't see it, then just say you didn't see it. Don't try to say that it didn't happen because it did. 45 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, And what's wrong with that picture? Um, just a dad and his sonny, and they probably were at an event somewhere. Yeah, nothing was wrong with it. No one said anything. Well, I didn't say nothing was wrong with it. I was just letting you guys know that it was some debate about um if it was the same thing when destiny had posted um martel's little little event that arian called herself giving him at the uh cheesecake factory that's all i'm saying i'm not making a big deal out of it i'm just saying that was the difference to me that's it okay so um nail let's fast forward to miss nail because she posted her Destiny, we saw Sunny in the background and some more ladies on this uh, boat, yacht, whatever it was. Destiny looked like she was really happy to be there. She was all smiles, guys. Did you guys see it? I'm going to play it. Um, uh, yes, there's a difference. I agree with you. Yes, it's definitely a difference to me, you know? Like I said, if it would have just been the man and the children, then yes, it would have been the same thing. But the dynamic changed when Ariane Curry was through in there. That's all I'm saying. And then it was really even messier for Destiny to me. This is my opinion because you talked all that crap about Ariane. You did, Destiny. You talked crap about her. You did. You, you talked crap about her on the show to Martell. When you told him that he was going to get a stiletto in his head. Do you guys remember this scene that I'm talking about? Because I remember it very clearly. She was talking about a uh, sad chick and all that. And Martell got real uh, flip at the mouth back with her. And she told him that he was going to get a stiletto in his head. All the stuff that I say can be ran back. Real talk. I don't have no reason to lie on nobody. So, Destiny, you were saying this stuff, but then you went back. And you was hanging around Ariane Curry. And don't say, oh, I was just there for Martell. Because you made sure you got her in the camera. You made sure you put that camera on Ariane. Cut the bullshit. I'm not for the bullshit. I keep it real over here on Who Knew. We not about to do that. Good morning. Yes, I remember Destiny talking about coleslaw. It is what it, what it is. Then you made sure you put the camera on her. If you would have just had the camera on the children and Martell, that would have been fine. But you made it your business to put the camera on Ariane Curry and you posted it. So you were trying to be messy and spiteful. You were. And I know you say people are always coming for you and you trying to change and all of that. But Destiny, you're going to have to actually show that you're trying to change. Real talk. You know, and when I don't see it, I'm going to say it. <laughs> no, I don't agree with everybody, you know, coming after you all the time. I don't agree with that. But when it's a just cause to say something about your behavior, I'm going to say it. No, I'm not going to come after you every time. No, if you ain't did shit, you ain't did shit. But when I see something wrong with what you did, I'm, I'm going to say it. And just know, when this show come back on, since though you are filming again, if you're doing some crazy shit and some foolery, I'm going to say it then too. Yeah. You know? And it's not about me not liking you, because I don't know you personally, to say I don't like you. You know, I don't know you. I don't know none of these people. I call a spade a spade, and I call it how I see it. That's all. So do you, I believe that Nell is a uh, really vibing with a uh, destiny because that's the way it appears to me. So let me show you guys. 
hold on guys hold on where is it Okay, wait, y'all. I got to take this. Oh, shoot. I got to take the music out. Damn. Okay. Okay. There's Destiny. There's Destiny. She looks nice, though. Nail looks nice as well. I don't know who the other women were. I really couldn't see their faces. Okay, so they look like they're having a pretty good time, guys. They were playing music. That's why I couldn't uh, keep the whole uh, the volume. I couldn't. I had to turn the volume off. Y'all look at look at Nail, y'all. She thinks she doing something. Y'all like that outfit she rocking? What y'all think about that? What y'all think about Miss Nail's look right there? It was given spicy. I'll tell you that she was trying to show Chris what she was working with. I'll say that. Tell me y'all take on that outfit. Was it giving? Was it giving? Okay, okay. She do look like she had a good time. She does. Okay, so that's it, guys. So drop down in this uh, chat and let me know what y'all think. I guess some people in here say, uh, what's the deal with Nail? She's supposed to be Mel's friend. Now I'm looking at her side eye. I'm looking at her with the side eye. Okay, so let's talk about it. Who's Who else on this live is looking at Nail with the side eye, you know, because she looked like she was really vibing with Destiny. You know, do you guys think we're going to see a conversation between Melody and Destiny this, uh, this, this season? Do you think that we're going to have a sit down with Sunny and Destiny about Moses? Give it to me, y'all. What y'all think about these theories that I'm throwing out there? You know, because Carlos King, Carlos King did make a statement that it ain't none, no more of that. Uh, I don't want to film with this person. I don't want to film with that person. That that's what Carlos King said. He said if you don't want to film with people, then uh, bye bye. And remember, all things over here are allegedly. In my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Okay? Um, yes, looking at nail with a side eye. Okay. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't have a problem with everybody just vibing, having fun. <clears throat> but I, I'm going to have to make sure I'm watching real closely when it comes back on to see if we got some chitter chatter going on. Then that's where the problem lies, when you got the chitter chatter going. So we gonna have to we gonna have to see that much, y'all. And y'all know I'm a I'm a pick it apart and I'm a dissect it, and I'm gonna let y'all know if I feel like Nail was being messy, okay? I got 68 likes, guys. I got 145 people in here. Hit that like button when you enter the building, please and thank you. Um, Destiny, Des. Oh. Dusty going to come at Sunny. I do believe that because we all know that Destiny definitely probably feels some type of way. Moses never wanted to come on the show with her, but now he has come on the show with a wife, which is the producer that was working with Destiny, which she was telling her business to this woman. Allegedly, all of this is according to Destiny word. Okay, when she did her interview, that's what she said. Now, if y'all don't remember, run back and watch that shit. Because she definitely said that she was confiding in that woman. She was telling uh, they business. And here's my thing, Destiny. That was your producer. That wasn't your friends. People need to stop mixing um, business with pleasure. Okay? 
because I don't do that. The people I work with, them is the people I work with. They ain't got nothing to do with no friendship. I can be cordial. That is it. That's about as far as it's going to go. Don't get it mistaken. The people in the workplace are co-workers. Keep them in that, that category. <clears throat> you know, sometimes you have to put stuff uh, in different folders and um, <clears throat> categorize these different uh, people, places, and things if you need to. Okay? I know I do. I know I do, y'all. I don't play that shit. That part. Yes, guys, I don't play that. Um, I see people for what they are. You know, I'm not going to mix business with pleasure. I don't have a problem with being cordial with people, you know, and I'm going to tell my opinion whether others like it or not. And if you don't like it, then that's on you. I'm not going to change my uh, outlook on stuff for you. And I don't care what you say, nor what you think about it. You know, I will take it into consideration if it makes sense. But if it's not making no sense, then to the loop. Associates, that's it. Yes. Nail can be friends with more than male. I agree with that. That is uh, exactly why I stated we'll have to see when the show comes back on. It is okay, you know, to, you know, be vibing out. I just, I just said that. It is okay to be vibing out and all of that. We're going to have to see the chitter chatter. Now, long as it's not no uh, shady chitter chatter, then it's all to the good. And she is at work. Yes, she is. You can pick and choose. I don't know who you're talking to because I'm not trying to pick and choose or nothing. I'm just saying how I see things. I can pick and choose whatever I want to pick and choose for me, for my life. And I'm giving my opinion on theirs. And you're giving your opinion on it. But just like my opinion is just an opinion, so is yours. So it's all to the good. You know, I don't have a problem with people having their own opinion. I already told y'all that. But I don't know if you misunderstood me saying that um, Nell was looking like she was vibing. It's okay to vibe with people. And I also said the chitter chatter. Long as ain't nobody, you know, talking shit uh, uh, and she's not talking shit, <clears throat> then it's all good. I was speaking about nail. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. But I just didn't know if you were trying to say that, um, if you thought that I was trying to say that she can't be friends with the other people. I never said that. She can be friends with whoever she want to be friends with. She's a grown woman. But when you're a grown woman and you're put in the middle of a situation with two people that are not vibing and do not like each other, you have to move accordingly. OK, because you don't never want either party to feel like you're being a middleman and you're talking shit about them to the other person. And I think that's where a lot of friendships go wrong. And that part. Thank you, because I I literally I don't like doing that. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to friendships. Now, if I don't know you and we just cordial or whatever, I really don't care what you think or what you say. I ain't going to talk shit about you because, you know, you cool. But at the same time, there's no loyalty there. But if you're my friend, I've been put in this situation before and I cut one of them off. I don't have a problem with cutting people off. Nobody's exempt when it comes to me. Real talk. I will cut you off in a heartbeat. I agree with you. I hear you. I hear you. No, ma'am, I didn't think that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm happy to hear that. I'm happy to hear that. Because I know a lot of people, they kind of misinterpret stuff. And then I'm like, I didn't even say that. What are you talking about? It's been many a times that that has happened. Um, But it's all to the good. It's all to the good. That's why I like to kind of try to take a little time and break it down to people. Because I hate when people misinterpret stuff. And then, you know, they run with a narrative. And it's not even like that. You know, and people do that a lot on this here internet. Nell has always said she doesn't take sides, even with Martell. She did say that. I do remember her saying that. You are absolutely right. She definitely said that. You know, and that's her business, guys. She can do whatever she want to do. But like I said, when the show comes back on, if there's chitter chatter, I'm going to call her out. And I don't have a problem with Nail. 
I don't have a problem with Nell. I think she's cool. She be vibing out. I like her vibe for the most part. Sometimes I think she do too much and she be hollering and all that silly shit. And it looks like she's seeking attention. But for the most part, you know, I don't have a problem with her. But if I hear that chitter chatter with other castmates about the person that you say you friends with and stuff, then I'm going to speak on it. I'm sorry. Hi, who knew in chat? Is Kiki coming back? Yes. Yes. Kiki will be back, but she will be um, doing very little on the show. And that's why I said yesterday, in my opinion, they kind of like putting her in a category of um, a friend to the show. Y'all know I just spoke on putting people in categories, you know, getting your folders out, you know, for the people, places and things. You know, we have to put stuff in categories. And I think that is the category that they are trying to put Kiki in. I think they are trying to make her uh, be just a friend of the show again. Now, that's just my opinion, guys. From what I've heard, you know, she's not filming much at all. I think, you know, so far she got two to three scenes, guys, and they have filmed quite a bit. And no, she was not on the girls trip, allegedly. Okay. Um, hi, who knew in chat? Hello, hello. If you have come in late, guys, please go ahead and hit that like button, guys. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I'm seeing a lot of my wonderful subscribers that I rock with the long way, and I'm so happy to see y'all this morning. Um, I think people confuse work and personal when it comes to this show, and I agree with you. And I think with the cast mates themselves, they confuse that also. And I agree with you. That's why I said you got to put people, places, and things in certain categories. Guys, I'm a master at it. I am a master at it, okay? When I am not at my job, when people from there call me, I don't care if they trying to be cool or whatever. It's, you, you get the voicemail. Yeah. Because this is not that. And I'm sorry to those people that are watching right now, but y'all know how I am. And um, y'all cool and everything, but this is this is just what it is. This is me. Um, 100 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We have 210 people in the building. Please hit that like button. I have my mods, all three of them in the, bu in the building. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Y'all know I rock with y'all the long way, okay? Uh, good morning. Good morning, Dorothy. How are you? Okay, so with all that being said, guys, wait a minute. I don't believe nobody on this show is genuinely me uh, Melody's friend. That's why she brought Chanel on the trip. And you know what? I agree with you. We were finna get on into that. Melody brought her two friends. I think Lauren, she brought her two. She did. Ain't no thing. She did. So she brought her two friends, and I don't blame her. You know what I'm saying? All of these people that are pretty much um, has been at one point of time my enemy, and now I got to be on a trip with them. You know what I'm saying? Even though Mel is the one who planned it, I don't know if she was responsible for all the parties that was there or if the show just said, oh, okay, you're doing a girl's trip. We throwing all of them over there. And I kind of think that that's how it happened, real talk. But we shall see. We shall see. Um, and I don't blame her for bringing her uh, friends. Everybody else had a friend of a friend of a friend. You know what I'm saying? So why not? Why not? Good morning. Good morning. <clears throat> so that's that's my uh, stand on it, guys. You know, I and I had been said a long time ago that Melody should bring some of her friends on the show because it was getting too one sided. It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't equal. You know what I'm saying? It, it just didn't feel right. It didn't look right. So I'm here for it. Okay. I'm here for it, guys. So anywho, um, hold on, guys. I had something else to tell y'all about these folks, too. Wait, let me see. Okay, so we got the cast members. 
over there on uh, Instagram. And we know, like they always do when the show is getting ready to come back on, um, they put different things on their Instagrams, letting us know that um, they are back. So we got Destiny. She's over there posting. She says, working out will make you feel weak when it's actually making you stronger. Yeah. So, hold on, guys. If she puts a song with it, I only, I'm going to play a little bitty piece of it. Y'all heard that? Because I don't want my um my video to get demonetized. That's T.I.'s song. And she said, in the song, he says, I got a grind, don't stop. A hustle won't quit. Grind like no other. I be on some other shit. Destiny, no, no. That song was not for you. I have not seen, seen you grinding like nothing. What are you talking about, woman? So um, I'm not here for that song being on Destiny's uh little quote. No, get that out of here. Okay, now if Destiny had been giving us a whole bunch of different stuff that she had been working on, you know, for all this time up until she got on Love and Marriage Huntsville again, then I would have been like, okay, okay, I see you because I'm a fair person. If you doing your thing, I'm going to say it. Because, you know, I am here for the black women, you know, uh, moving up the ladder. I'm here for it. But not, I'm not going to condone when you're lying either. When you're lying, I will not condone that. Do Destiny know Sonny with child? Ooh. I don't think she know that. I do not think she know that Sonny is with child. You didn't drop the bomb on us. Allegedly. Allegedly, in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only, Dr. Ann has stated that Sonny is with child. Ooh, that's probably going to come out on the show, too. Yeah. The drama laugh out loud. Yes, yes, yes. I hope Destiny isn't going to be messy with Mel or Sonny this season. Ooh, we, but baby, I, I think, I think uh, that hope will not come true. Because I definitely feel like it's going to be some mess, especially with Sonny and Destiny. Now, I don't know how far it's going to go as far as with Melody. I mean, we just got to wait and see. But I think Destiny definitely probably got some bottled up feelings towards that situation. Because in that interview, you could see that she felt some type of way about that. Real talk, y'all. And Destiny does not have a poker face. You know what I'm saying? You could see right through it. I'm excited to see Destiny return because I feel like we didn't get a chance to see her full story. I'm interested in her story. Okay. I'm just hoping that she actually brings the story because the, the, the story behind the foolery of what was going on last time she was on the show and then she started doing interviews and stuff, talking about different stuff that's going on in her life. Yes, I was interested, but it's like, you wasn't doing that on the show. You wasn't talking about your stuff, your real life on the show. And then I know LaBerry kind of put a hold on certain things that she could say, allegedly. Allegedly, they said that uh, LaBerry had put kind of put a stop to certain stuff, guys. Do y'all remember uh, what I'm talking about? Um, I don't think Destiny gave two Fs about Sunny. She may have smoke for old boy you know what you know what and you could be right you could be right but the vibes that she was giving when um when she did that interview i felt like she was giving smoke for both of them you know she stressed the fact that you know i was telling her my business and they were supposed to be um cousins or whatever you know there were shots there and and it was giving smoke for both not just one-sided but we shall see. We shall see. Remember, Destiny had a, I'm not sure what that is, order. Oh, a gag order. She she did. She did. That's what I was just speaking on. That um, she was certain stuff she couldn't say, I guess, on the show. Because then when she came back and she was doing interviews, do you guys remember that? 
and everybody was like, why are you telling all this business on these interviews and you wasn't this transparent on the show? I know y'all remember the big word, transparency, transparency. Remember, everybody was throwing that word all around the place. Remember that, y'all? Destiny is lazy, but wants success and money without doing the work. Ooh, that's what uh, Miss Yo said. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't shoot the messenger. Okay. 129 likes, guys. I need y'all to go ahead and get those likes up. We got 225 people in here. I need those likes to get up, please, and thank you. And make sure y'all subscribe while y'all over here, okay? Whoever is on top of them bushes, come on down and just hit the like button and go on back up there. Real talk. Just keep coming back listening. It's all to the good. Another uh, content creator alleged that Destiny was kissing up to Mel. That was her uh, sitting next to Mel at that table saying, oh, okay. Okay, so y'all think that she is going to be uh trying to get in good. I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out though, y'all. We, we shall see. We shall see. Um, I don't think Mel here is here for it really, you know, with Destiny. I just don't. But I mean, so a little time has passed since she posted Ariane and Martel and, and, uh, and Mel's kids, you know, for Martel's birthday, you know. But okay, we, we shall see. We shall see. Yes, I remember that. So, guys, that's all I can say is we shall see. Y'all know I'm going to be front and center dissecting everything. Y'all know how who knew do. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to let everybody know what I came up with through my investigation of these people. I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. So with all of that being said, can we uh stick a pin in that for a minute? Um, Kiki, I don't know if you guys uh, watch Melachine, shout out to her, but she said that she spoke with Kiki and Kiki said that she is trying to bounce back. She is trying to bounce back for what happened from what happened with her and the content creator. Yes, this is this was Kiki's words. And this is why she says that she hasn't been on Instagram and things like that. So I'm praying for Kiki. I am, you know. And I know that they had um uh took some scenes away from her allegedly, and she's not, you know, really on there, but you know, maybe this is the time for her to venture off into some other things. Yeah. And kind of focus on her. You know, you, you could do that too. Come out of the trees and hit that like button. I know that's right. Mel said no gray areas. I know. I know. And I think she was just speaking on um, friendships. This is just my opinion. You know, I think she was speak, speaking on her friendships, you know, things like that. Because when you're speaking on business, there's going to be gray areas. There's going to be gray areas when you're doing different uh, business with people and stuff like that. Real talk. Real talk. Um, That's how I see it. That's my opinion. 151 likes. Okay, thank you. Keep hitting that like button, y'all. Um. So we shall see. Like I said, guys, we shall see. Mm -hmm. What y'all think about Kiki and saying that she's trying to um, just kind of bounce back with the whole thing with all the drama that she had went through when she was, you know, going on live a lot and uh, the stuff was put out that uh, she had really said and stuff. What do y'all think about that? Are y'all here for seeing her back on the show? Let me know. I did hear that they did a scene, um, her and Mel, about the whole thing. And I and I, I heard that it wasn't really pretty. Real talk, guys. I don't know exactly what happened, but I heard it wasn't really pretty. That's just what I heard. Remember, all things are allegedly, in my opinion, and for entertainment purposes only. Yes, I do. I, I can't with Kiki until she admits to Mel asking her to come on the show. 
to go at Tisha. Kiki needs to focus. Yeah, on her sobriety. I agree. I agree with you. I agree with you. Until she's ready to fully be transparent and be honest about everything um, that has taken place, you know, regardless of whether, you know, she asked her to come on the show or re regardless whether she did it because she was really jealous of Tisha, I think she should be honest about it all because people have already figured it out anyway. So it's not going to make you or break you to go ahead and be honest and just say it. <laughs> because things things are just going to be killing you inside things are going to be killing you inside when you know that uh you're guilty yeah um everyone have a blessed day yes you have a blessed day as well you have a blessed day as well male block kiki yes i did a video on that she did uh, says she blocked her. Yes, you can go back in my channel if you want to watch it. Uh, it's right over here on this channel. Um, I think that's over. So do I. That uh, that's a gray area for me. Yeah, I I do believe that that was one of those gray areas that she was speaking on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. I mean, she could try, but. I really feel like she should just stay put up because I don't believe she ever going to be honest. You know what? There it is. Some people feel like she there's no honesty there, you know? And another thing with Kiki, when all you do is ramble, 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 you know, people can see through that stuff. You're rambling because you're trying to cover stuff up. Stop the foolery. Get straight into the point. I saw it on your video. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yes, guys, I say get straight into the point. Uh, Mel thought she had a friend in Kiki, but a snake is a snake. Woo! Y'all heard that, didn't y'all? A snake is a snake. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully, Kiki can tell more about her story. I like Kiki. Okay, let's talk about that a little bit, guys. I told Kiki, from woman to woman, myself, I told her, talk about your, your situations. Talk about your life. Don't be worrying about who Marcel's sleeping with, trying to bust him out, all that silly stuff. Don't be over there just trying to act like you ain't nothing to the show. You don't bring nothing but to be a male's friend. Don't do that either. Be you. Be you. Try to get the people to like you for you. You have an identity. You don't have to, 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 to exist because of these other people. Exist because you are you. I told her this, guys. Real talk. But it's like she couldn't do it. Because as I continued to watch, all I seen was the exact opposite of what I advised her to do. Because I can't make her do anything. I just gave her some sound advice of what I thought that as a grown woman, you should be doing. Is this by yourself? Tell your own story. Real talk, because when she was on there, she was not existing by herself. No, and that's just what it was, guys. And it's unfortunate. Um, yes, I would like to see Kiki. Okay, okay. Who knew? What do you think going on with the Eminem kids? They've been with Mel for two weeks now. I think Martel got his panties in a bunch, allegedly. I think he got his panties in a bunch about money. Guys, I keep telling y'all, everything reverts back to money with Martel. I'm telling y'all the truth, okay? I do think that, you know, he eventually gonna come around, but it's when, when he get himself together and he feel like, you know, he got a couple dollars, that money makes him feel... um 
powerful or it makes him feel good about himself because he don't feel good about himself. He doesn't. I don't care how he try to be on videos with Ariane trying to kiki or trying to smile or whatever. That's a broken man. And that's just my opinion. And I know that it's like four years later. I don't care if it was 10 years later. If you're broken, you're broken. Period. And if you wallow in it and you're not trying to do nothing to get yourself out of it and you are aligning yourself with people with poor behavior that have brought you down and they're the, the cause of your downfall, you are going to keep wallowing in that same pit with that person. And that's just what it is. And that is what Martel has gotten used to doing. He's gotten so comfortable with Ariane. <clears throat> and I'm just speaking my opinion, guys. He's gotten so comfortable with her. He feels like it's safe here. It's safe here. She won't tell my secrets, my deep, dark secrets. And, 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 and I know that I can get her to do whatever. You know, it's sad. It's sad. But he need to open his eyes and see that she was the cause of the downfall. Real talk, because she was willing to do whatever. Sometimes people that's yes men in your life can really fuck you up. You like that stroke and that eagle. You like that, but they're a fucking yes man. And they're never going to tell you when you're wrong or right. And that can become dangerous. I agree with you who knew about Martell. Yeah. Uh, hi, who knew from Mississippi? Hello, hello, Mississippi in the house. Okay, okay. Um, Neil and Mel's friends. Okay, you feel like they really, really friends. Okay, cool. She is grown and can decide who she be friends. No one says she can't. <laughs> no one says she can't. Um, if Martell hasn't been filming, he probably doesn't have any money to care for them. And that speaks volumes. Because I told y'all, I do believe a lot of things in Martell life has to do with money. And I know we all need money to survive. We all need money to live. I know this. I'm a grown-ass woman. I have a lot of stuff that I take care of. But it's a but there. <clears throat> You cannot make that your whole existing. You're going to lose your soul for some money. And that's what happens to a lot of people that have came, <clears throat> came into uh, situations where they got a lot of money at one time. I can go down the list. Look at Wendy Houston. She had all that money, but she wasn't happy within herself. Look at P. Diddy, what he going through right now. That money make their head real big and they think they bigger than God. You are not. Because as easy as he gave it to you is as easy as he'll take it back. Remember that. And sometimes it ain't even God that's doing that stuff for you. It's the devil. It's Lucifer himself. Y'all know what? I'm going to stop right there because I'm getting too deep into this. But I can give y'all some, some stuff. I, I, I can give you a word on it on how who knew see this shit. Real talk. But I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do that this morning. Martell needs to get a job. He do. I've been told him several times on my video. Him and Ariane, they need to get a nine to five. And I said, Ariane is back because y'all know she back over there trying to promote them same old clothes, them tad ass clothes talking about, oh, I, re I revamped, I revamped, I revamped my boutique. Girl, get that shit out of here. Ain't nobody buying that stuff. I don't know who you think you're fooling. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of her coming out with these little dusty clothes. Y'all, and she came out with like two new pieces. This crazy lady came out with two new pieces and talking about she revamped. What? That is not revamping. <clears throat> Ariane, move along. Move along. Get off, get, get off my table. I don't even want to talk about you no more because you is just an idiot. 
speak truth, sis. Yes, preach you new. Yes, yes. Y'all know I'm going to tell y'all the truth. Amen. Um, Martell, been quiet. Yeah, it's a reason for him being quiet. We was just talking about it, y'all. It is a reason for the quietness. Quiet before the storm. Believe what I tell y'all. Y'all ain't got to take it from me. Y'all ain't got to take it from me. Because there's been a lot of people that tried to go back and forth with me about different things that I've said over here on Who Knew. And then a week or so come to pass and everything I told y'all came true. I've had people that DM'd me. I can show y'all and said, I'm sorry. I just didn't think that was going to happen. You said it though. Yeah, because that's what I do. I dissect shit. I take it apart. I know how to think outside the box. I take into consideration everybody's feelings, how they would feel about this or feel about that. Yeah. That's that's what I do. I'm not a one-sided person. When you a one-sided person, you can be fucked up. You can fuck shit up because you ain't seeing the bigger picture. You got to see the bigger picture. You got to think long haul. Yeah. Stop thinking for today. Think long haul sometimes. Yeah, that, that's how I do anyway. And it ain't failed me yet. And I I turned 44, y'all, and it has not failed me yet thinking like that. Real talk. Um, and Ari been, uh, Arianne been quiet as well. Yeah, and the only thing she did was throw up them clad ass two little new pieces. I'm like, girl, bye, girl, bye. Mm-hmm. It shows on Marty's face. What do you think his storyline will be? Shit. He ain't going to be talking about much, y'all. It's going to be the same tad ass storylines that he's bringing up. Y'all know what? Martell might surprise us. And he might get on that screen and he might start trying to talk about Arianne. Because we all know how bad he wanted her on there because he wanted that chat. I keep trying to tell y'all. Oh, wait a minute. Um, facts. Who knew you have wisdom? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, my grandmother used to tell me that I have an old soul when she was alive or uh, May she rest in peace. Um, she used to tell me that when I was a teenager because I didn't see stuff like the average teenager would. I didn't, you know. Um, and I always was that person who thought outside the box. Um, who knew in mods and chat? Uh, hello, everyone. Late again, working and listening. Oh, it's okay, Gail. It's okay. Thank you for joining us. Just catch the playback. I welcome everybody. It don't matter if y'all late or whatever. It don't matter. Martell says, show his real life or nothing. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We shall see. Did y'all see that little 10-minute fam, y'all, that Martell was in called the Sad Chick something? Y'all, I don't remember the exact name, but did y'all see the little clip of it? I said, what? Martell then threw himself in a uh, little short 10-minute uh, film thing or whatever it is. And it's called The Sad Chicks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we know he got first-hand knowledge of messing around with sad chicks. We already know this. He ain't telling us nothing new. But that was a bad look, Martell. Knowing everything you've done, why would you sit up there and, and, and you know, participate in something like that? Oh, wait, of course, it was the money. Come on, I did. I just answered my own question. Now, I just sat up here and told y'all this man is all about what he can get out of people. So I don't even know why I said that. <clears throat> A hundred and seven, 176 likes. Y'all hit that like button. 281 people in here. Let's go, y'all. Okay? Uh, Yep. Hello, hello, hello. Um, big ups to you. You are definitely on point. Love it. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> you win me over. I just subscribed. 
your channel. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate all of my people, uh, my day ones, as well as my new subscribers. Y'all know I rock with y'all the long way. Uh, no, where is it? Okay, I seen um, the little film. I didn't actually see it, see it, y'all. But uh, I seen the picture of it. I seen the picture of it. It's him and some other man on the cover with these suits on. And it's called the Sad Chick something. Who knew, crew? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So um, I'm going to put it on my community wall, y'all. I got to put a couple things over there that I told y'all I was going to put over there. I just didn't get a chance to do it last night, and my apologies. But I'll make sure that I'll put I'll put it over there for y'all today. Um, guys, I also had put on my members only um, a lot of the conversation about Martell Holt with um, Ariane. And her friend, when they were talking about the same sex situations with Martell Holt, I think I'm going to uh, do another video and release the whole thing for you guys. Because um, I, I was fair. I gave it to them first. And now I think I want to uh, dissect that with you guys. What y'all think about that? Because it was way more than I played on Girl Chat. It was way more than that. I don't know who all seen Girl Chat over here but if you have not seen girl chat i did play a small portion on there um so make sure you go check that out but i am going to do another video with the um the whole thing so you guys can um you know hear everything and i want y'all to know my opinion on it because as it plays i'm going to pause it and dissect for you guys and let you know what i think i'm here for it okay 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 Yes, 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 yes. And I wish, wait, child, let me, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all, let me see. Because I seen it this morning, guys. And like I said, I was watching, um, um, Mila Chimes, I, I hope I'm saying her name right, because I'm always butchering people's name, y'all. I'm sorry about that. But um, I seen it over there. Wait, let's see. And now I don't see it anymore over there. But that's okay. I'm a fanny for y'all. And I'm going to put it on my uh, community wall so y'all can see everything. So no worries. No worries. Nobody on that show is male's friend. Nobody. Okay. So that's why I feel like I told um, my subscribers earlier in this video, I think that that was a good look. I had been saying a long time ago that I felt like Mel should bring uh, some of her own real friends from outside of the show onto the show with her. And um, that is what she did for the girls' trip. And I think that that was a smart move. I do. I'm here for it. I hate I didn't hear it the first time. It's okay. You can, um you just for the little snippet that I was telling you guys about, you can go over to girls' chat. It is over there, um, but I will play the full audio on another live that I would do. And like I said, I will dissect it for you guys and let you know what I feel about it. And you guys can chime in and let me know what y'all feel about it, you know, because um, the, the friend, she was like really, really talking. I mean, she was getting Ariane. She was getting her. And Ariane uh, was like a scared little girl in the corner. She didn't really know what to say, guys. She did not really know what to say. And um, I, I, I was like, whoo, whoever that girl was, was getting her together, okay? Mel can't keep a friend. I wouldn't be surprised if she falls out with nail necks 
interesting. We 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 gonna see. We gonna see y'all. I think that's the name. I heard it from Sassy T. Oh, okay, okay. I hear you. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was sad chicks something, y'all. It was it's, it was something about sad chicks. And I just said that that was not a good look for Martel, especially he's always talking about he's trying to clean up his image and all of that, but he goes about it the wrong way. The first move, Martel, that you need to make, you need to get that demon off your back, that sex demon. That's number one. And I know you say you're not addicted to sex and everything, and that's okay. You're going to tell us that. But you need to get that demon off your back. That's number one. Okay? Number two, when you get that demon off your back, you'll be able to let Arion go, that leech that's on your leg. Yeah. Because you got that demon on your back, and then you got that leech on your leg. And that's not, that ain't, that ain't cool. That ain't cool. That's two downfalls right there. Okay? Okay, I got a new member. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Victoria. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. So that is the things that I think Martell needs to start off with first. And once he starts off. Can you guys still hear me? Let me know if you guys can still hear me. You can you still hear me? The Fletchers have several story lines. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The Fletchers have several storylines to share. What can the others say? I do feel like they have storylines. But you know what? I'm going to need to hear about that uh, arrest. I, 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 You know what? We can look it up and we can see it. But I'm going to need to hear about that arrest with that young girl. The charges, let me say allegedly, because I don't know if it was a full arrest, but I know his picture and stuff was taken. So let's let's hear about that. Was it was it a misunderstanding? Was it that she lied about her age? What was it? What was it? So I want to hear more about that. Yes, yeah. Uh hear you who knew. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, guys, I want to know um about that arrest. I want to know, Chris Fletcher, was you out here trying to get uh, young girls that was younger than your daughters? I uh, Look here. If we're going to be real, then let's be real. And remember, all things over here are alleged, in my opinion, for entertainment purposes only. And I know y'all probably get sick of me saying that. But I have to say it. Y'all see it's going across my screen. Because as y'all heard, Maurice and Kimmy called a self going after bloggers, and I'm not here for it, okay? Even though a lot of this stuff that, being that, that has been put out can be proven. It can be proven. But these folks still want to try to take people to court and shit. So uh, I will not play those silly games with them. Oh, wow, now that um, that's must-see TV. Yes. Yes, that is must-see TV. So that's what I'm saying, y'all. We got all these repeated storylines from season to season, and it's so much more going on in these people's life behind the scenes. Let's hear about the stuff that's really happening, like that couple I told y'all about yesterday that be uh, making it rain on, on the strippers, the husband and the wife getting their back blowed out. Or blowing somebody back out. I'm going to need them to bring the real shit to the forefront. Okay? Kiki can try to bounce back, but male will never. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Hanging with her. Marcel at the club. Okay. You think Marcel is at the club? Say it. I like the real even. Where did it go? If I disagree with someone, I'm vibing with this chat. Okay, okay, yes. I think Neil 
is Mel's friend, but she also has a job to do. Yeah, yeah. She definitely has a job to do. They all do. They all have a job to do, guys. Nobody's taking that from them. You know what I'm saying? I agree. They need to stop bringing up stuff from the past seasons. Yes, I'm tired of that. They should only focus on new issues. And that is a fact. I've said that time and time again. And I don't even know how this show continue to thrive with this same old tab ass chick. You know what? I, I just, I'm tired of it. Martel, let's talk about you allegedly moving in over there with Ariana on her section A. She ain't got to be on the show. You tell us that that, that that that's what you had to do. Uh-huh. Because all things are alleged, y'all, but that is what was said. And I know that he was trying to show two places at one point. I don't know how true it is, but we do know that he had been running over there with Ariane. We do know that. And I think he stopped her from doing that TikTok shit. Because she remember she was posting him and her over on the TikTok shit. I think he's seen that that wasn't working for them to uh, get this show or whatever because they're not likable. You know? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I think Neil and Chris are... Male's friends. Okay. They seem to remain neutral. Yes, I agree with that. And that seems to be okay with male. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that part. At the club taking pictures. Yeah, Marceau, did y'all see that? Him and uh the Fletcher son, they was forever taking pictures, y'all. I did see that. You know, they was all smiles, like everything was all to the good. Did y'all see it? Hit the like button, guys, if you just came in the building. It's 301 people in here. I'm going to need y'all to hit that like button. And I'm going to need y'all to make sure when I put this next live up um, for y'all to listen to the full um, recording that I have. I'm going to need for y'all to be over here because we're going to dissect this here thing, Okay. Hey, from UK. Hello, hello. Thank you for being here with us. Um, 230 likes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Guys, continue to hit that like button when you um, come in the building. Please and thank you. Um, hey, peace and blessings, everyone. Same to you, same to you. Can't the show get back to Black businesses? Please, please, please get back to... Uh, black businesses being built and stuff. I would really appreciate that because that's what it was supposed to be about. And I said that in my last um, video, hopefully this time, this season, we will see more uh, of them building stuff because we know Kimmy and Mar no, Kimmy and Maurice bought some new properties, guys. Did y'all see that? Kimmy was posting it over on her uh, Instagram and she was posting a, uh, um, bowling for boobies or something, something like that. She was posting that as well. Male no fool. Her eyes are wide open. Yeah, you got to keep them open. When you're dealing with a cast like this, you got to keep one eye open. One eye open. Yeah, that's what you got to do. When you go on vacations with them and everything, one eye open, y'all. Carlos' problem is because Melody didn't play ball. We, oui. Marcel, uh, hasn't abused anyone like others. Ooh, we, oui. you got a point. You got a point. You got a point. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all when y'all got points and when you're right about something. I, uh, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying? Because I can only. You know, state my opinion, and um, if I agree with something, other people may not agree with it, and that's okay. Because I always tell you guys, y'all can have y'all own opinions. We are all free free thinkers over here. We think for ourselves. Um, we do not uh follow that. <laughs> there's no following over here, no ma'am. Exactly. Mm-hmm. 
who knew so destiny already started filming for the seventh season for love and marriage Huntsville. i heard yes destiny is all the way in the building okay because she already started letting us know over there on instagram she's happy it seems to me that she's happy that she's back in filming yes mm -hmm. and hopefully it can stay that way that we won't get that tasmanian de tasmania devil and she redeems herself guys that's what i want to see i want to see these people redeem themselves yes so guys with all that being said i'm gonna get out of here because i am about to get ready to go to breakfast and give me something to eat guys good day everyone good day to you too this is terrible oh we oh we so make sure y'all are staying tuned for uh, my next live make sure y'all watching all my videos i put out a lot of videos within the last couple days guys please run back and forth between my two channels and check out all the videos okay dr uh and i have a second channel it's called who knew too please run over there and subscribe over there as well as well as anyone else that is new in the building please subscribe over there you guys get excellent content over there as well new players Okay, we got new players over there on Who Knew Too. You guys will not be disappointed, I promise. So with all that being said, guys, I will catch y'all on the next video. But while I'm gone, y'all go ahead and check out all my other videos. Who Knew Too got a new video up this morning about Bonnie talking about a whole bunch of foolery with Blueface. Says he issued a warning to her. Y'all want to see it. Y'all want to see it. Okay. Um, by who knew have a wonderful day right back at you right back at all of my wonderful subscribers I love y'all I rock with y'all the long way real talk uh, who knew I doubt they want uh, redemption they uh, oh they won't mess oh we shaking my head me too so with all that being said guys follow me over there on Instagram on both of my pages over there Follow me over here on uh, YouTube and make sure you check out my Hulu lip gloss. Have a wonderful day. Deuces.